Hi everyone. First of all, Made It Family would like to wish you a very, very happy Dasai. May God is Durga bless your lives with a lot of happiness and prosperity. Learning is a never-ending process, and even in this festive season, we have brought you something interesting rather than those boring lectures. So we have used a goat's organs photographs just to make you clear on some of the organs in human body too, since both are mammals and bear resemblances. So if you find the images disturbing, we are very sorry, but you'd better get used to such realistic things. After all, you're gonna see a dead human in your coming days. Starting with the first photograph, here you can see a mammalian lung and a heart situated between the lungs. See how the lungs are further divided into lobes. This is for more efficient air entry and also compartmentalization of the lungs helps to stop the bacteria spread to other lobes just like in the case of lobar pneumonia. In case of lobar pneumonia, a single lobe of the lung is infected by the bacteria and the long lobe that is infected appears consolidated. You'll understand these things later on your pathology classes, but for now, I'm just giving you a rough idea. So the space between the roughly speaking lungs, but precisely the pleura or the covering of the lungs is called as mediastinum and your blood pumping organ or heart is situated in between the lungs. The heart of the mammals is four chambered and it is conical in shape. And the covering of the heart is called as pericardium. The heart is actually very liver like in color and that blurriness as you can see in the image is due to pericardium. And let me tell you, this pericardial sac is filled with fluid called as pericardial fluid. Now let me take you to the trachea. Can you see that pipe like structure above? Yes, that's the trachea. That is the long tube composed of muscle and incomplete C-shaped cartilaginous rings. And if you look closely, you can also see some appendages like structure that, that come out from the trachea. It is the dissected part of the esophagus. Esophagus is your foot pipe whereas trachea is your air pipe and the esophagus is collapsible. This again my friends is a heart which looks precisely conical. But in human heart, the base or the posterior surface is flat as we stand upright as it needs to rest on the diaphragm. Those white structures attached to the heart, if you look carefully, are fatty tissues called as adipose tissue. They contain large fat cells called as adipose cells and the cells are so packed with fats that the nucleus gets pushed to the periphery, giving a signet ring cell appearance. Remember, these features are only appreciable under a microscope. This is the posterior part. In this goat, it will be referred to as the dorsal part. Now carefully observe that hanging structure from the trachea. Yes, that's the esophagus which I had already mentioned to you. And esophagus lies in close approximation to the trachea. For now, just understand that trachea lies anteriorly. Whereas the esophagus passes downward to the body, just posterior to the trachea. In humans, the trachea is formed by incomplete C-shaped rings of cartilage and that incomplete part is filled by a muscle called as trachealis muscle. Now what you see here is the largest, heaviest organ of the body. Can you guess the organ's name? Yes, that's the liver. It is said that liver has almost 300 functions and in your anatomy viva exams if you are asked like which organ performs this function? The answer is much likely to be the liver. But use your brain wisely on what the question says. Like lungs, the liver is also divided into many lobes. And there are the four main lobes of liver, namely right, left, quadrate and quadrate lobes. Below the liver, you can observe a greenish pouch-like structure called as the gallbladder. The liver produces a green fluid named as bile and the function of the gallbladder is to store and concentrate the bile. And if you guys have ever vomited in an empty stomach, you might have felt that bitter taste of the vomitus. That's bile. And remember the sour is due to the stomach acid. You can see some whitish things there on the liver. 
those are the ligaments possibly false form ligament don't bother about the names now because liver has got numerous ligaments and attachment that you'll be learning on your upcoming days in anatomy this is also an image of liver and you can clearly see how smooth the surface is such smoothness of the liver is lost in cirrhosis and cancerous liver and it will appear more like bumpy surface speaking in pathological terms it will be nodular surface and the more the reddish brown color of the liver fades it indicates more fatty liver a condition known as fatty liver disease most common in all colics in our next picture you can appreciate there are pipe like rounded coiled structures the larger one is the large intestine and those small tubes are coils of the small intestine you can see those whitish fatty tissues are attached to the mesentery of the intestine and the mesentery covers the intestine recently mesentery has been started to be called as an organ as a whole so what's the role of mesentery intestinal blood vessels pass through this mesentery to reach the intestine this is also lungs but in inflated conditions or a blown up condition the picture shows the lungs from the anterior or the costal surface since it comes in contact with the costae or the ribs now look at the color it appears fresh and pinkish right but in humans the color is said to be pink or purple at youngest ages but as age advances it turns gray due to inhalation of carbon particles in these two diagrams you can see how the shape changes in a deflated and an inflated lung air rushes from the atmosphere inside the lungs due to negative pressure developed inside the intrathoracic space which draws the air inside and the lung expands as a result air is filled into those small bunch of grapes like structure called as alveoli that's all for today I hope this session was helpful to you all and I hope you guys found it interesting. Stay subscribed for more videos in coming days. Happy Dasai from Medit family once again. Celebrate safe and celebrate responsibly. Goodbye.